When you first start with RenderWorks, it's a good idea to follow a particular sequence of actions. This way you can follow our regular system of three basic steps, and this helps produce successful renderings almost immediately. Let's take a quick look. First, we need to prepare a 3D model. We use many of the same tools that are used in 2D work, and many of those tools, such as the wall tool, already create 3D versions of objects in the background. You can see this here by switching a wall to a 3D view. We can also use other techniques such as drawing 2D polygons and then extruding them into 3D. And there are many 3D objects already provided in Vectorworks libraries that can make the model more realistic. But in all cases, it's better to keep the model as simple as possible. Now we can enhance the appearance of the model. We can apply color to objects and that's often sufficient for a good presentation. We can also apply textures that simulate the appearance of real world materials. Now to view the model, RenderWorks has a camera tool that simulates the functionality of a real-world camera. We can place one or more cameras around a scene, and then we can select the views we like and adjust the camera settings for a best perspective. After placing the cameras, we can apply lighting. The simplest lighting for exterior views and for many interior views that have windows is a heliodon. And a heliodon is a tool that represents the sun. Click on the Heliodon and then in the drawing to place a sun, and you can always adjust the Heliodon settings later. For interior views, we can also place lights in the scene to provide lighting and to simulate real-world light fixtures. Now those two are not always the same, by the way, but they can be combined into a single scene, as we see here. Now you click on a light tool and then click in the drawing to place a light object. RenderWorks provides layer backgrounds that can emit light. This means that renderings can simulate light that comes from the sky, which is an important part of preparing realistic scenes. Apply the right background and RenderWorks will show the correct lighting from the sky for that time of day in addition to the Heliodon. And now we can render the scene. Use OpenGL for initial renderings and this helps to produce quick renderings that allow us to adjust the model or the lighting quickly. Once we have the right combination of model, textures, and lighting in place, we can render using one of the many RenderWorks options, and we can test different options using the Render Bitmap tool to create test strips with different settings. And as you can see, this includes photorealistic techniques as well as artistic ones that simulate hand-drawn images. So let's recap. First, we create a 3D model. Then we alter the appearance of the 3D model with color and textures. Now we use the camera tool to select views, and then we add lighting, both exterior lighting and interior, as appropriate to the model we're using. And finally, we render using either OpenGL or one of the RenderWorks options, and that's the basic workflow. Now, there are some important points to remember in all this. Always keep the effort at the simplest level possible. If there are no shadows that are needed, don't place any lights. And if there are no textures that are needed, don't use any textures, just use color. When lights and textures are used, use the smallest possible number of each. In all cases, the least number is always better, faster, and easier. And finally, and this is the most important point of all, render using the most basic method needed for the purpose at hand. 